One. They've done tests for years trying to figure out who can get through selection training, but we never can tell until it happens. Do not show me weakness or I will attack. Sometimes you never know a person until you put them in that situation. It's worse than hell because it exists and you're already there. The purpose is to weed out the ones that don't want to be there. I quit. Your mind will quit faster than your body physically. You guys are crazy. So we can focus on the ones that do. There's about four of you guys in this class right now. The rest of you guys suck ass. And we're going to drop a smoke hammer on them, and it's going to suck. You embrace the suck. You say, you know what? We're going to get through the shit together. Let's do it. This is the only way that you can find out what type of person you really are when you push to the limit. Over it! Number 12, you think highly of yourself. You're the new class leader. I don't want it to be easy. It's not going to be easy. When people come to a selection, they're looking for something. They've got demons in the closet. They're dealing with shit. They have a horrible childhood like me. I don't know what it is, but they're all looking for something. And we are going to be on them like white on rice. So I think it's split down the middle right now. It's half pretty strong and half pretty weak. Yeah, a lot of people are going to go. Number 20, first class leader. He's all over the place. Super high strong. Super st gets stressed out fast, and he just tenses well, up. That being said, super hard worker, and just couldn't really be more authentic. Number 11. Guy puts out. He's the oldest in the class, too. He is. is he really? He's, yes. 40, he's 45 years old. Number eight, the weak one. She'll be gone tomorrow. Yeah, Absolutely. She, you think so? Yeah, she's done. You think if she quits, her sister's going to quit with her? Yeah. So on that, let's, um, let's switch up the class leader. Who do you want to go with? I think we've done my 20, opinion, we've done 12. I think 23. She's on the fence, she's up and down. Make her team leader. It's gonna make or break her. Yeah. But what about my man 30? He's I a, like he's, the guy. I like him. He's, he guy's got heart. Heart. he's got super heart. He does he have a lot of heart. heart. You know he goes so far look, though. Look at his yeah, picture. The water's gonna kill him. The wa yeah. The beach is gonna be a bruiser. Yeah, it's gonna beach, beat beach some gonna people be rough. up. Cold water is gonna eat some of these people up. Think about how you get up. Worst case scenario, you oversleep, you jump up, you don't make your bed, you forget to brush your teeth, your hair looks like shit, and you run out the door. Now amplify that by 10,000, and that's what we're doing. It, but we're trying to set them up for real-world military skills. Something like a breakout would simulate incoming mortar fire or an ambush or somebody's raiding the base or compound you're on. As I'm screaming and yelling and just facilitating this evolution of hell, I just see people going up to instructors and leaving. Who wants them there? Get your socks and shoes, hurry! Get your pants in! Let's go! Drag your hip down. Come on! Drag All I need is one quarter! Let's go! Somewhere what are you doing, tight shorts? Yes. 
Get on the grind. Get in the pit. Get in the pit. Line up in formation. One, two, three. One, two, three. Number two, we're taking people from a dead stop and we're redlining them. Boom. And we're making them work. Because in the real world, when the shit hits the fan, you don't have time to have that cup of coffee. You better know where all your operational gear is, and you better go from zero to a thousand like that. Suffer in silence. Embrace the suck. We don't care. Make this a learning experience. This is true. This event and, and military style selection processes in the military in general is not for everybody. They're coming off their gym workouts and their Pilates and their CrossFit and 5Ks and maybe some marathons, and we're immediately kicking them right in the ass. This is what you wanted. I will find leaders in you all today. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Eat, eat, eat. Anybody done with two MREs yet? I know they don't taste as good as they should, but you're gonna need the calories. It's gonna get cold. I'm begging you to eat them. You're going to need them. I'll tell you, the storm's coming. Eat it. Yep. Eat, try to eat as much as possible. Try to eat two. Drink water while you eat. Make this process quicker. Eat fast, as fast as possible. What's going on? What's the problem? I, I think I'm having a pancreatic attack because I felt this pain before and right now. Why, why did you come here if you have chronic pancreatitis? If you knew you had these problems, why would you come here? Because I, I didn't want the problems to define what I can do. And within Army Special Forces, I was an 18 Delta, which is a Special Forces medic. We'll med drop somebody. If somebody is physically incapable or is gonna get hurt, we'll med drop them. Don't wanna quit. Then don't quit. I'm not gonna med drop you. I saw you outside doing PT. I think you're fine. I think you just are using this as an excuse to leave here. I'm not. <laughs> Raise your hand if you ate two MREs. There's no wishy-washy number 30. Did you finish two MREs? Well, he didn't ask if you finished one and a half. He asked you if you finished two. 30, you were going to freeze your nuts off. Yeah, today. this is, you make it past the next thing, I will be somewhat impressed, somewhat. You're 21 years old, you knew you came here with this. You need to make a decision. Do you want to stay and can you stay? If not, you need to take your patch off, hand it to instructor Bowen, and you need to leave. You either are gonna continue on or you're gonna give your patch to instructor Bowen. The majority of the people that are gonna quit this are people who are afraid of failure and it's easier for them to make an excuse. They'll find every excuse in the world to quit and go home and get back into their warm, cozy bed. So no, I don't have any sympathy for somebody that doesn't want to be here or wants to quit. If you want to quit, go home. And I know that's harsh, but that's the reality of it. It could always be worse. Somebody out there is working harder than you are right now. Your name number 30. Jeld Yap, sir. Uh, instructor. Jeld Yap. Where are you from? Um, I am originally from the Philippines. Instructor. Right. But I'm from the England right here in the US. Why'd you move to America? I did it America snap. And I had an opportunity. Instructor. I have 
basically, um, um, sort of no family left in, in... Basically, or you have? Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of different scenario because I grew up on my mother's side and then in the Philippines, all of them were gone. They all passed away. So, it, being here is like, and you start because I have nothing there. How'd they pass? <sighs> My mom passed away because of cancer. Why did you become a nurse? It is a dream of my mom. I fulfilled it. She was always telling me to go to the U.S. And I wasn't able to fulfill the dream while she was alive, but I know where she is. Where she's at. Guards! Keep going, keep going. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Now, shimmy to the left, shimmy to the left. What's up? Why are you, why are you removing that? What's going on? Who is that? What number? Get over here. What number? 29. Take a deep breath and relax. I want to be an airborne ranger. BUDS, our initial SEAL selection course, Stands for basic underwater demolition seal training. And at BUDS, you're doing everything from the water. So you, you're born into that mindset that you're going to be cold, you're going to be uncomfortable. 30 seconds, do not remove your hood. Let's go. Let's remove go. your blouse, go. go. Pay attention. Remove your blouse. Remove your blouse without taking your top off. Interlock arms. Interlock your arms. Interlock your arms. Interlock your arms! Interlock your arms! Interlock your arms! Why can't you listen? The 58 degree Pacific Ocean, it's physically brutal. It's mentally debilitating. You find out who are the hard ones, who are the ones that are there for the right reasons, and it really shows the backbone of the individual. So write a passage. Class leader, come here. You're fired. Get back in line. Number 23, come here. Yes, instructor. You're the new class leader. You got it? Yes, instructor. I always want a full head count. I want to know who's in medical, and I want to know who quits. Yes, instructor. Shit rose downhill. Anything that class does falls on your shoulders. You got it? Yes, instructor. They okay, fall back in line. Instructor Kerr, turn over to you. Can everyone hear me? Yes, yes instructor. instructor. Next course of event is going to be called Surf Immersion. What we're going to do is we're going to test you mentally and physically to see how long you can withstand extreme exposure to the elements of the cold. You're going to follow me into the surf, and you're going to take my commands. There's two commands, seat and on your back. Yes, sir. Follow me. Stay in line. And stop. Straighten up the line. Guys, your line looks like shit. Straighten it up. I let their feet get wet. They get to the feel how cold it is. March. And that coldness runs right up their body. Take seats. 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 Straighten up the line. And I sit down. They lock arms. No talking. And we wait. Straighten up the line. Stay tight. You better lock those arms, and you better not lose a single person. Fix it! Fix it! Fix it! Get up and fix it! Get up and fix it! Here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! Just 
time it so the, the surf breaks right on them. Lock it off, you automatic! Lock it off! Lock it off! Fix it! Number 15, how many times are you gonna let go of your body? How many times are you gonna let go of your body, number five? Get up and fix it! They disperse in many different ways. They try to hold that link, and that link is supposed to be the, their, their force, their zen. They try with everything they have. But the poor bastards on the end, like number 30 and a couple of the other individuals, they get washed out to sea. Oh. Go, get him, number 11. Okay. Hey, Hold tight, get back, stand get back, get back. So as a team, they have to regroup, go grab those individuals, and get back in the position as quickly as they can. This is why you lock off. We just go over this over and over and over. Oh. Woo! Get those Pull yourselves up. up, it's a sit up. Straighten the line up, I'm gonna put you in another three feet. Lay on your back, shut up. Way back! Suck through it, don't let go. There will be pain. But, but what's so important about this and what everybody needs to understand is there's a lesson that is being taught. We're programming people to challenge themselves, to know when to work as a team. They have to feed off each other's strengths and weaknesses. That's where the bond takes place. Hawk, straighten the line up, straighten it up now. Stand attention. Stand attention. Stand attention. <coughs> it's going to get colder. I'm trying to save you a lot of pain. Are you sure? I actually love your heart, but I'm trying to help you here. I went in the water to go get you. I'm gonna push you in deeper, and it's gonna get nastier. Are you sure? Look me in the eyes. You want it? Or do you wanna give me a patch? You'll freeze, or you wanna give it to me? 15. Everyone take your t-shirts off. T-shirts off. Take your t-shirts off. off. Hurry up, throw them up here. Throw them on up over here. Take your time, number take 30. Take your time, come on. Way to go, take your time. That's it, class leader. Take your time. Take your time. Hey, suck it up or leave. That's your only two options. Not face. Not face. Not face. Forward, march. Yeah. Wake up. What are you doing? It's too cold. We can't control my body or not. So, what are, you, what are you doing right now? I'm quitting. You want to quit? Where's your patch? Go get your patch. Great. Stop! Go see the corpsman. Get out of here. Fix your line, four. Fix your line. So what's gonna happen? You guys see that buoy out there? It's about 250 yards offshore, okay? You go all the way around, you're gonna swim counterclockwise around the buoy, not clockwise. What way? Counterclockwise. That's right. I want to come back in this church. You handed me your patch. You said you quit, right? Yes, it's church. Okay. Well, in my world, we don't like quitters, and you can't come back. You got that? I understand, instructor. Okay. You're done.
the shark's out there. So there's a medical emergency. Not like, oh, my leg's cramped up. Oh, like my back kind of hurts. Like if you were gonna die, or your eyeball is gonna fall out of a socket, uh, or a shark just bit your leg off, you're gonna wave your hand like this, okay? If you wanna quit, just swim back into shore, okay? How far away are you gonna be from your swim buddy? Why we tell you? You do a lot of swimming in buds. Everybody knows the dangers of rip currents and the surf zone and cold water. You put some life preservers on a couple of guys that said they were not comfortable in the water so we could be safe. What we want them to do is just complete the evolution. The only reason that you should be swimming into the beach is because you want to quit. What do you got? You, go over there. Instructor, what do you got? Talk to me right here. I don't assume there. I just, I just can't breathe with the goggles. <gasps> you can't breathe with the goggles, you can't swim. I can swim. Oh, you can? OK, well, why aren't you swimming? If you could swim, go swim. If you can't breathe with the goggles, swim with the goggles around your neck. You can't do the swim, can you? Look up at me. You want to quit? I get one more shot. You got one more shot? Yes, it's okay. Play seven. Your swim buddy wants to swim. There's a buoy. What are you waiting for, 30? He's done. Twenty seven, go see the instructor. Come here, 30. Come here. What do you got going on? I asked you if you could swim, right? You said yes. Look up at me. Why do you keep looking down? What were you briefed by Instructor Haggard? If you turned around and came in, what did that signify to us? That I did what? You what? Quit. Quit. Exactly. This program is for a well-rounded person, you understand that? You're small, you're cold, you're weak, you have a lot of heart. You have a ton of heart, okay? Unfortunately, it's not gonna get you through this program. It doesn't mean that you can't do something again in the future, it just means you can't stay here today, you understand? Number 27, you like to do some push-ups and warm-up? Yes. My personal opinion is you don't have to be a strong swimmer to pass anything. You have to be comfortable with yourself and your abilities in the water. I'm not the strongest swimmer, but I'm the guy that will literally power through the water to get it done. Because you tell me to do something, I'm gonna do it. If I don't do it, it's because either I'm dead 
or I'm dead. Drink water. Drink, drink water. water. Drink water, drink water, drink water. Okay. Permission to speak, instructor. What is it, 2 0? <sighs> Medic, sir. My toenail is gone. Take your battle, buddy. Go see the medic over there. We're not here trying to hurt individuals. But this isn't about just seeing who has what it takes. This is about giving us everything you have. Let me tell you what, if I don't see somebody puking or killed over with cramps or literally just dropping unconscious, then I'm not doing my job. Ah! Ah! It's okay. Brotherhood, I never knew what that meant. I never had a brother. That sun is warming us. The sun right there is beaming right down on you. It's warming you right now. I lost my father. He was murdered. So there was a void, you know? I'm cold. I'm not even that cold. It's, it's, like it's involuntary. Just stop saying it. Just, just tell yourself make it stop. Stop. Muscles are just stop. Shaking. Just stop. Just make your body stop. I was going down a dark road, growing up, getting in a lot of fights, doing a lot of stupid shit. That's good, that's good. Deep breaths. Feel that sun? Feel that warm sun? My life began when I became a Navy SEAL. I finally found a home. Try your shiver on the breathe out. During the selection, we're trying to make it as, you know, miserable, as we can, and as close as we can to the real thing. You with me, number eight? Number eight, are you with me? I'm behind you. Okay. So they're always going to be wet. They're always going to be cold. They're always going to be sandy. This is called land portage. Up boat. Up boat. Bear down boat. Down boat. Down boat. Bear down boat. Bear down boat. Up boat. Up boat. Land Portage, working as a team to get a boat from point A to point B the most efficient way possible. A is to be a winner. A is to be a winner. Second to log PT, that tested me like nothing else. I know how much it hurts. I've been there. Prepare to down boat. Down boat. boat. This good deal is not gonna last forever. Breathe in. And the smaller crew. Um, we had a crew that was mainly comprised of women. They were shorter, and they weren't physically as strong, and they were suffering. Think about it. Stand up, get there. Do I have empathy? No. I don't like the word empathy. It pisses me off. Air crawl, two hands on the paddle. Two hands on the paddle. Two. What are you doing walking? All the way down, 23. 23, this is your revolution. Head up. Woo! How you doing, 2-0? Better day than yesterday. Keep doing what you're doing. Listen up. Without your paddles, without your water, this is a race. Pays to be a winner. Bust them. Do not touch any of the instructors. Yes. Where's that right hand supposed to be, number eight? Keep going. Down! Keep going. Behind your head. Up! Keep going. Come on, number eight. I know, she's almost there. She's almost quit. I will find a way to get to every single person and, and see if they have that fortitude, the determination and drive to succeed in any task given to you. Come hell or high water.
you're in that zone right now. I, I can see it. I can see it in your body language. You're in that zone where you want to quit again. Is that what's coming? I don't want to. Don't cry. I don't want to. I can feel it. I can see it. Like you're getting ready to. You're just getting ready to quit. We constantly question people. The reason that we do it is we just push them to another mental extreme. We want them to question why they're here. We want them to question like what they're doing. Bust, go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And when you start to tune out the noise from the outside, that's when you're gonna start hitting your stride. Don't worry, number eight, nine. I'll be here when you guys want to talk to me. Go, go! But certain people just break from that. Again, go. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Come here, twins. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, 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 easy. Get down! We've been fighting as hard as we can. I mean, we're clearly not as big as some of the others, but we've been fighting too. You let us get into your head? and you let the water and the cold get into your head. Take it for what it is. So, I'm so much pain, but I don't want to let you down. You're not letting me down. What do you want to do? Uh, uh. Number 23, so you know what? You're only going to be letting your own stuff down. Do you want more or do you want to turn it in? Listen, we got about three seconds. What do you want to do? Either give me the patch or get back in line. I'm going to turn it in. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Give me your patch. I cannot stand quitters. I do not have empathy <laughs> for quitters. When I'm on duty, I am going to push individuals as hard and harder than they've ever been pushed before. Because if not, I'm doing them a disservice and I'm letting the other instructors down. I owe it to them. I owe it to the individuals and they owe it to themselves to literally put up or shut up. And that's it. Pass them. Pass them up. Go. Pass them up. Go. Pass them up. Turn it down, boat, down, boat. Turn it down, boat. Get your hands on the Who's guiding it? Who's guiding it? Six feet. Let's go. Six feet. Eleven, get up here. We picked you as a class leader. Number 11 is the new class leader. How many do you have in your class, do you know? 16, instructor. Are you looking forward to this evening? I am, instructor. I know that feeling. I've had this feeling that you guys have right now. <sighs> Miserable. Fair enough, boat. Fair enough, boat. Fair enough, boat. Fair enough, boat. There it is. Up on the shoulder. Up on the shoulder. Boat presses. Boat presses. Boat presses. Boat presses. Up. 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 Down. 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 What number was that? One. Up. Up. What about you, number 19? Down. 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 Are you going to quit? Up. No, instructor. Up. Down. 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 For some reason, I kind of believe Down. you. Down. Three. Up. Thank you, instructor. Down. Four. Up. 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 Down. Up. You got Up. that certain. Up. Down. A certain. Six. Don't give a f attitude. Up. Down. Seven. 
Thank you, Chucky. Well, I didn't say it was good. Have you been on an airplane? My first flight was the plane right here. And this today is the first day you ever saw the ocean, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> the first day you ever saw the ocean was today. That is right, instructor. That's amazing. A lot of my firsts were in training. Surprisingly, I never saw the ocean before I went to SEAL training. So I could relate to number 19. He's young and ambitious and hungry to learn. Instructor Capone, roster number 19. Today is the first day he's ever seen the ocean. Outstanding. First day ever to see this the ocean. This is your first day to see the ocean. Yes, instructor. What do you think of it? I saw you get hammered by a wave. <laughs> it was exhilarating, instructor. Okay, Number 19. First time on an airplane, first time seeing the ocean today. You're not bad. Pretty cool. You're not half bad, you're not half good, 19. Down! Why do you think we do this? Why do I make you freeze your ass off? It's to make you mentally tougher. It's because compared to what we do after this training, we're never colder, we're never more miserable. When you are actually freezing your ass off for 10 or 12 or 24 hours, you don't really think about it. You're just uncomfortable. You understand that? Yes, instructor. Being cold is not really being cold, it's just being uncomfortable. Right? Yes, yes instructor. You're not dead, are you, when you're cold? No, no instructor. You're still thinking clear, right? Yes, yes instructor. instructor. You're just what? Uncomfortable. You're just uncomfortable, that's all. So we make you cold, so you learn how to be uncomfortable. Got it? Yes, yes instructor. instructor. Forward march. 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 Take seats. finish line is never there. That's what I want to get across to these people. Every day in life is a mission. Give me a medic. Glucose, water. Here, let's do this. Since he's about to pass out, have him sit down. What's going on, Four? I got dizzy. You felt lightheaded? You know, doing one of these events, it, it, the participants' well-being was always on my mind on the medical side. And I've got quite a bit of experience doing this, and it, when it goes bad, it goes bad fast. Stand by for a few minutes, number four, OK? Drink water, and I'll tell you when you can move back over there. You got it? Yes, sir. sir. Anytime you go outside and you take away people's sleep, you take away people's food, you change their pattern of life, it, it, it gets dangerous. Number four, you got to make a decision. Are you going back in or not? Yes. Number four, you've been med dropped from the course. I'm dropping it. You understand that you've been med dropped from the course? So Ross number four, based on his vitals, and his low blood sugar, and then his LOC, or level of consciousness, it would have been way too dangerous to let him continue. So I made the decision at the time to med drop him. Stand right here. The next person, go. What's your roster number? 27. Where are you from? Portland, Maine. How old are you? 35. Roster number is 27. Are you good? Yes, I'm good. Move over here and stand by. 
What's your roster number? Number 19, sir. Where are you from? I am from Windsor, New York. How old are you? I am 23 years old, it's an instructor. Roster number 19, are you good? I am good, instructor. Just move up there with roster number 27, move out towards the tent and get in one of those heated vans. Hurry up. Thanks. Run! What's your roster number? Number six. Where are you from? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. How old are you? 25. What's your roster number? 11. How old are you? 45 years old. Inspector. Instructor! Inspector? I keep that, yes. Instructor. Are you good? I'm good. Where are you from? I am from Kentucky, sir. Louisville, Kentucky, sir. How old are you? I'm 25 years old, sir. Roger. So, 35 years old, sir. How old are you? 35 years old, sir. 2-0, are you okay? I'm fine, sir. I want you to move People start dropping fast. And that continues, and then as the tasks get harder, you start losing more people. Saturday what? What's the date? Give me the actual date. 16? Where are you at? Move out. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If it's an hour into it, or if it's 10 days into it, they will leave here stronger than they were when they got here, without a doubt. It's been a grueling 48 hours, so now we have, I think, 15 solid candidates. Now we're gonna test them in other ways. This is shit. We'll get into a little bit more mental conditioning, mental toughness. I don't feel like I've been a good man in my life. Do you wanna continue? Because I'm not a quitter, sir. You never wanna have a medical issue in a course. It's like the worst thing that could happen. You are having a lot of trouble, number six. There's a paradigm shift that happens in your head. Something that shifts in your mind from there are limits to there are no limits. This is life. You fight. You get hurt. Life isn't, isn't fun always, but you go through it. It's a process. It's the only way that you can find out what type of person you really are.